Tungsten Tales here at the lakeside. We've got, uh, uh, unfortunately, we've got a loser with us here, Peter Shoshvani. We spoke to you the other day after your preliminary round win um, and just lost to Mark McGinney, um, but wanted to talk to us about his performance. Um, so let us know what's going through your head right now. At this moment, my head is just very disappointed on my performance today. I know I'm. I could produce so much better dart. I have it in me. So if I felt like I did everything, I produced what I had, and it wasn't enough, I would feel I'm okay with that. But I know I'm so much better. The preparing was just excellent. I was preparing. Jeffrey de Graaf was supporting me. We were warming up. We did. We did. Uh, doubles around the board I was two times under 25 dots and that everything just felt brilliant and and then I started thinking and panicking and I don't know what happened I very disappointed in myself and I know I'm much better than I produced today definitely because there was there were patches of great darts so you started one leg off with a 180 um, it was the doubles there was one particular leg where both of you had a lot of darts yeah. at a double um, in the beginning of the second set, I think. Yeah. Um, obviously, you talk about preparation. Did you prepare differently today to the other day? I felt I, I felt more calm today, actually, and I, and that made me a little bit nervous as well because normally I'm get panic attacks before, and I felt very confident. I felt very secured and. I was thinking, like, if I just throw my darts that I know I can play, I will be all right. And if, if, I, if I don't win it, it will be all right, because that's what I can produce. Then back to the practice board. But this, all the best to Mark McKinney, of course, but I could give him a better match. I mean, last year, everything was like an exhibition. When I lost, I was very happy. And uh, then I was, when I came home, I was watching Robbie Green when he, he knocked me out with 4 zero, And I learned, like, that's the difference be between a professional and the first time. I mean, he was like, thank you, Peter. You knocked out the number, seed one in the world. I'm going to make my job done and get back early for supper. So I was thinking, like, don't, don't, don't get away. I, w I just wanted to go in and show them m my best high quality dogs and, and it didn't click so but I have to say this when I was uh, in an international tournament an MC said it takes two players to make a great final so I'm thinking my loss is somebody else's success and uh, to be honest, a little bit of BS for me. Losing still sucks. It does, definitely. But uh, I you have did to seem that experience as well. <laughs> you did seem to have the crowd on your side a lot of the time. Yeah, you do play to the crowd. Amazing, amazing. It is amazing. I mean, the crowd was supporting me, and to all the people out there who supported me, can't I can't describe it in words. There's no money for, for the things you all did for me today. I will remember that and I will come back two times stronger, I promise. I, you guys keep me still going to the practice board and want me to be better and better and better. Thank you. Well, obviously, you've been back here the last yeah. two years. Hopefully, you'll be back next year. I know Hopefully. it's tough talking to I us be, after as losing. As I said last time, I will be back a Rooney and so much better. Thank you. Thanks, Peter. Thank you. Cheers. All the best.